What up Space Fam, Gozen here from Anime Up Pro and I'm back at it again to discuss the latest and craziest developments in the One Piece story. In this chapter we have huge developments with the Luffy and Kaido fight, including crazy new powers and big signs that it's almost over. But we also get to see how other fan favorite characters are doing as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy seeing these One Piece reviews and want to keep them coming, you know what to do, channel Pirate King within and smash that like button. Remember, smashing is Pirate King energy and passing is scared Orochi energy, so choose wisely. If you haven't made this the video, you subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications or you will miss future One Piece videos and updates. And while you wait for the next chapter to drop, feel free to check out my huge and growing One Piece playlist that includes videos on all the Yonko, Warlords, most recently a much requested update video on all 11 Mythical Zone users, and much more. Link to that is in the description. And now, without further ado, let's jump into it spoilers and all. This chapter is called Rizo, and at first that was wasn't the most hype chapter title for me, but after we're done with the chapter, I think we'll all agree that he deserved the honor. We pick up where we left off with Luffy having just punched through Kaido's face in the last chapter. His face was intact because of some cartoon logic, but it had to hurt. As Kaido is on the ground, Luffy is rubberizing the ground beneath him, turning it into a trampoline and jumping up and down for fun, while contemplating what he should call the last move, Gomu Gomu no something. Pretty hilarious to see him coming up with a name for a move mid Yonko fight. Kaido, as we probably expected, is more or less alright. Yes, there's panting, but he gets up, asking who are you to Luffy. Kaido knows he's called Straw Hat Luffy, but I think these lines are more and more signaling to us that Kaido is putting the pieces together and finding out that Luffy is the new Joy Boy, even if Luffy doesn't know it yet. As if to confirm this, we see Zunisha thinking how nostalgic it is to hear the rhythm of Joy Boy again. Then he speaks as if he were speaking to his old Joy Boy friend and says, It's as if you're right there. How exhilarating. This all feels like fate. I can't help but think that we should put our faith into this boy." End quote. So these words are interesting because it does distinguish between the old Joy Boy and Luffy. He may be the quote unquote new Joy Boy, but he's not the old Joy Boy. In other words, Luffy is Luffy and won't be taken over by some old version of Joy Boy. Still, Zunisha feels like putting his faith into Luffy. Back to Luffy who answers Kaido who, me? A Monkey D. Luffy, the man who's gonna surpass you and become the king of the pirates. I know Luffy always says this, but it hits different every time depending on the circumstances, and while it may have been harder to believe last time he said it, now I think most of us are pretty certain he'll get the job done with his new godly form. I love this man's persistence and unflinching resolve. Kaido is glad to see Luffy still has that big mouth, by which I assume he means his smile. Kaido is smiling too, saying we call this an awakening. Your mind and body are finally able to harness the potential of your ability and what a ridiculous power it is, end quote. This implies that Kaido has already awakened. Which makes sense, and as I said before, I hope this awakening, based on his fruit, was the transformation from a Magikarp to a Gyarados. And if that line confuses you, it will make a lot more sense if you watch the brand new 11 Mythical Zones and Their Powers Explained video, link in the description. Kaido goes on to say he's lost his men, castle, everything he's built in this war. But he supposes the same is true for Luffy. Not really though, since all of Luffy's fighters will be fine eventually, and most of them, even as we speak, are still in solid shape, but Luffy says, I'm not through yet yet. He'll take back everything Kaido has stolen, no matter what. Which is such a funny thing to hear from one pirate to another, but Luffy has a strong moral compass and he is not okay with stealing from the innocent and needy. Kaido is still going dropping a Gundari meteor shower and hits Luffy over and over again. Still so funny to see Luffy's face wrap around the spiked weapon. Luffy then punches back and ow. The fists move through Kaido's body and look so unnatural and painful. Gotta hand it to these mythical zones, their endurance is off the charts. One might even say, it's ridiculous. Luffy starts coughing and we're like, what's going on? Is he gonna transform back? But it's actually the fumes from the castle. Kaido realizes that if the fumes are already here, on the roof, that means thousands of Luffy's men are trapped below. Kaido says they'll roast to death. 
this may be him trying to get Luffy to leave, since the panting Kaido is in bad condition, or it may be him trying to get to Luffy mentally, but I love to see Luffy confident and unfazed as usual. He says he left everything that's happening down there to them, and he's got nothing to worry about other than sending Kaido flying. I love to see his trust in his crew, it practically gives me goosebumps, not only is the crew trusting the captain, the captain is also fully trusting the crew. Kaido looking pretty beat up, uses his scabbard cutter wind slice attack, and Luffy dodges it by pulling his upper body up so that the attack moves between his very extended legs. Love this scene, and as a little bonus, we see the attack slice through a boulder in the back like it's nothing, showing how dangerous the attack is. We then briefly jump to the others. Nami and Chopper are together and dealing with the fire. Zeus can't help since the flame is so big, his reign would just be eaten up. Law's polar bear friend Beppo has to be carried since he's obviously not good with heat. That's actually a hilarious detail about Beppo that makes a lot of sense. There's been a lot of talk on how Law's crew isn't that reliable and them begging for their captain to save them here doesn't really help their case. We get more comedy with people thinking that Brooke suffered a lot and is now a burnt up corpse thanks to what happened here and he has to explain that that's not the case. Robin suggests that there may not be a way outside. Sanji is helping ladies which makes sense. Good on you, Sanji. Apu is arguing with a number. Not the most exciting scene. Usopp is doing his best to save Kinemon, Kiku, and himself while Giraffe Hamlet assists. Frankie is carrying Zoro and looking for Chopper to help or Zoro isn't going to make it, he worries. I also love hearing the line, keep whining like a bunch of weaklings and I'll burn you myself. That's some boss energy right there. Then Jinbei and Raizo team up to save the day. They trust each other because Luffy trusts them both. Raizo promised he'd never be unprepared like the day Odin's castle burned. He promised to never let himself be helpless again. And so at Zo, he took the insane amount of water Zunisha used to wash itself and cast captured it, and now he releases it with Ninja Scroll Jutsu Elephant Bath. An insane amount of water is released that Jinbei helps direct accurately so it puts out the fire of the castle. I absolutely love this, and it may seem random, but it totally makes sense that Raizo decided to be ready for this since yes, he already almost let Momo and the others burn in a castle once, so he wanted to ensure it didn't happen again. Epic stuff. I didn't love the Raizo vs Fukurokuju fight. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't love it, but this I love. Raizo has more than earned my respect. Side note, we see Killer being saved by the water as well. Then we see Yamato and Momo talking. Yamato says something very interesting, namely that Kaido won't be able to sustain his flame clouds much longer. She says he's at his limits, and you think she'd be the one to know. This is huge news, and it was hinted at with all of the panting that Kaido is doing, but this seemingly confirms it. Momo is worried, but Yamato insists that their only option is for Momo to create clouds strong enough to hold Onigashima, and that that was always their only option. Lastly, we see Lightning. God Luffy, aka Luffy in the sky holding a freaking lightning bolt like the Greek god Zeus himself. Not the One Piece cloud, but the Greek god. This was one of my questions when we saw the new form, since it seemingly suggests he could do anything. Could he generate anything? Could he generate lightning from nothing for instance? In this case, we can't assume that for sure since it is stormy, but either way, at the very least, Luffy can grab hold of lightning and use it as a weapon, which is just insane. This is why I say mythical zones are better than Logia's, because now, Luffy can use lightning powers, and that's just one facet of his powers which include way way more things. The panel really makes him look like a god coming down to the grounded Kaido, we're told Onigashima is about to fall, both fighters are smiling and we're told by the narrator that Luffy and his men are taking the future into their own hands. Wow. What a chapter, honestly, I love constantly seeing Luffy's new moves in this form, and the lightning sword thing is epic. Can't wait to see the next chapter, although there will be a break. MVP this chapter goes to Raizo, our boy did great. Obviously, Luffy is gonna get the vast majority of these chapters just because of his new form and awesomeness, but this one has to go to Raizo. But that is it for this one, let me know your thoughts on this chapter and what you're expecting to happen next. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do, channel the Power King within, and smash that like button 
button with no mercy remember smashing his power king energy and passing is scared orochi energy so choose wisely if you haven't made this video subscribe and hit that notification bell to turn on all notifications or you will miss future one piece videos and updates and while you wait for the next chapter to drop feel free to check out my huge and growing one piece playlist that includes videos on all the yonko warlords most recently a much requested update video on all 11 mythical zone users and much more link to that is in the description and until next time see us base cowboys